The, the name of the instrument, uh, Meta, stands for Mars Environmental Dynamic Analyzer. And in, in short, is a kind of analyzer that will characterize, will monitor, and will study the atmospheric dynamic on the, on the Mars planet. Can we say that as a robotic uh, meteorological station? <laughs> yes, that is actually what it is. Meteorological station on wheels. The atmosphere has been shaping the planet. So understanding the atmosphere is also a necessary step to understand how the planet has been evolving. Meta will play that role in the Perseverance mission. Uh, the META instrument is actually a set of sensors. META will study and characterize the daily and seasonal variations throughout all that uh, machine year. The dust will be characterized by a set of photodiodes and a camera, uh, the one we call SkyCam, and uh, that will provide the information about the abundance of the uh, of the dust, the, the, the shape of those small particles, and how these particles may affect uh, the other instruments, the other uh, systems in the rover, and eventually how those may affect the, the human uh, crew that eventually will be on, on Mars. In addition to that, the, uh, the instrument will also measure the, the classical uh, meteorological magnitudes, just like the, the pressure, uh, the relative humidity, uh, the temperature, in the air and on the ground, the infrared radiation, and how those parameters may contribute to shape the surface. Uh, the atmosphere on Mars is probably the driving force to shape the planet. And uh, in case of uh, finding life, the atmosphere will, will condition how that life has been surviving or uh, have been preserving those traces of life on the planet. So in that context, the atmosphere in general will provide the context for the other investigation. In this particular mission, one of the main goals is let's seek for life, for traces of life. In addition to that, the mission is going to be testing some important technology that will be used in the future, human exploration missions. Uh, the mission will, will be uh, collecting samples, collecting rock and soil samples. The, in a uh, decade or so, will another mission will go there, will gather all those uh, vessels with the, with the samples on it, and will uh, bring them back uh, to Earth. From those data, we will, uh, we will measure Mars. We can try to extrapolate how the Earth planet may be evolving if we don't control this human activities we're currently having. Meta will, together with RAMS and with twins on, on inside will become the, the, the first main network consisted on three, three elements. Uh, observation points coming from the, the three simultaneous stations on Mars will be crucial for uh, validating and uh, refining the, the atmospheric models. Um, the, the atmosphere is so complex that we cannot rely on a single uh, point, on a single uh, data source on the surface, we need more uh, to, to combine all this dynamics uh, measured by the different instruments and then validate the meteorological models on the surface. And that will be really important for the future of the, of the planetary exploration. So our instrument has been designed to work independently on the rover 
in the case of NASA missions, starting with, uh, with uh, Curiosity and now with Perseverance, these two missions are using a nuclear battery that will be charging our batteries and allowing us to work independently on the environmental conditions. So if even if the rover is sleeping, our instrument will measure uh, around the clock 24 hours or so and, and so from, from the rest of the mission. This is key for, for understanding the, the climate and the meteorology on, and, the, and the atmosphere behavior. The instrument has internal computer, the internal uh, mass memory, uh, and everything to work independently, running our own software, running our, our, uh, our own um, observations, and also storing those information in our uh, internal memory to finally uh, send everything to ground through the rover. Uh, we'll be receiving data from Mars at a daily basis, uh, not only from Meta, but also from the other instruments from the other instrument and, and systems on the, on the mission. The data from every instrument will be provided to the entire mission community. And on that basis, we will design the next steps for the next souls on Mars. This is a, a quite complex mission and every data coming from Mars will help understand the context for the geology, mineralogy, or, or astrobiology science. So this is beyond a team, beyond a, uh, an instrument. I've been uh, leading this this project from, from the beginning and I'm coordinating the, the amazing team that has been making possible this, this important challenge. Meta Instrument is the result of a combined work of 17 institutions, I mean, uh, research centers, private companies, etc., from five countries, and uh, in total, more than 400 people. Meta is probably one of the most challenging instruments I've been contributing to, and for that context, you have to find the best possible uh, partners to work with. The process of Selecting the partners that make Meta possible is based on a long-term career and knowledge uh, from the, the partners. Everything started with the RAMS instrument that is uh, on board a Curiosity from 2012. And uh, on those times, we had a chance to, to find the best possible partners to make rent happen. After that, we had a chance to contribute again to another mission. So from that perspective, the knowledge we have from, uh, from each institution on, on the other partners and the, the expertise became something important to, to make this uh, instrument. NASA is now thinking on, on the future uh, man uh, missions of Mars. And in that context, uh, the, uh, the knowledge and the understanding of those magnitudes and the, uh, the, the understanding on how the Martian atmosphere behaves throughout the, the stations is critical to, to warranty the success, not only of the missions, but also the landing. Uh, you can imagine this. These missions are really important because from now on we'll be sending humans uh, to this planet, and so everything be becomes really important in that context. So having that knowledge, having that understanding, will help design the missions. Will help design uh, the the uh, the astronaut suits. The landing activities and how the life on the surface will, will need to happen to, to warranty the success and, and the, um, the health of the astronauts. Understanding the atmospheric dynamic is critical for uh, the investigations, but also uh, to understand how everything is affected by, by the dynamic of the atmosphere. And that will be crucial uh, thinking on the future mass exploration, 
Meta will be the instrument that will characterize, will monitor those conditions and will help us understand how the global planetary atmosphere behaves and how that may affect those future missions.